I wanna show you five things that you can use if your skin is crazy dry now that the weather is turning cold. So the first one is shea butter. This one that I have is by The Indie and it's made by a woman here in Portland and it's really good. Shea butter is really thick. Some brands are hard as rock. You can't even get it out. You have to scrape it. So you wanna make sure it's something that you can scoop out. But as it touches your skin, it melts and you can just put it right on your skin. And I've put this on my face, my whole body. It's really nice. So it starts out pretty solid, but it turns into an oil basically. The next thing I wanna show you is Jamaican black castor oil. And this is from Levin Rose. And black castor oil, the seeds are roasted and that's why it's a darker color. This is nice and thick. It's really moisturizing. It's a lot heavier than jojoba oil or almond oil or those things. And I am so dry. I can put this stuff right on my face. I'll just put this, <laughs> I'll try everything on a different area. I can put it directly on my skin, but if you're not that dry, you can just put a couple of drops into your regular moisturizer or mix it with a lighter oil like jojoba. This is vitamin E oil and it comes in a bottle just like this, but it's so thick that I can't deal with the dropper. So I decant it so I can just pour it in my hand. It looks like honey. It's not that thick and it's not sticky. It's just a little bit heavier in my opinion than the black castor oil. And I also can put this directly on my skin, but it's a good thing to blend with other products if you don't need it that heavy. These things are very protective too. The, the shea butter, the castor oil, the vitamin E, they can protect your skin from the cold, the wind, things like that. So they, they leave a, a little something on the surface. I need to get a towel. My hands are so oily now. Next thing I want to talk about is glycerin and it is so cheap, very moisturizing. I, I've had this bottle for years. I'm finally out of it and ordered another one. I don't know what I paid for, but I want to say nine or $10 and it has lasted a long time. So this is a clear liquid. It's a little bit sticky. I have used this directly on my skin, head to toe on my face but it is a little bit sticky and if I use it too many days in a row, I'll get kind of a funny texture to my skin, maybe a little bumpy. So for my face, I'd rather just add a few drops into my moisturizer. My hands are gonna be in great shape. Last thing I wanna talk about is lanolin. This is like when you're desperate, this is the heaviest of all of them. Liquid lanolin comes from sheep wool. Sheep are not harmed to get the lanolin. After they shear the sheep, they can extract this from the wool. I think it helps keep it waterproof. It does kind of smell like leather. It's really thick, as you can see, very much like honey. It's not as sticky as honey. It's a little bit sticky. Last night, I just put a layer of this all over my face before I went to bed. I did all my normal skincare and I put a coat of this because I was so dry. This is another one that could be good to just add a few drops to make your normal moisturizer a little more heavy duty. This is also really inexpensive. And like glycerin, this is an ingredient that you'll find in a lot of face creams and moisturizers. So I hope these ideas help and you can get relief for your dry skin. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.